There is so much going on in the news, but I want to focus on a small but mind-blowing story. Goldman Sachs is paying less than minimum wage, not to workers in a garment factory they've bought in a venture capital deal, not to cleaning staff in, in, in Mumbai or even in London. They're paying less than the hourly living wage to junior graduate banking staff in London. Some of these people are working 18 hours a day from home on their own at risk of burnout and they're earning a pittance when you divide it through and it's mind-blowing for two reasons. Firstly, it's a microcosm of what we're all doing. My first job out of university was for an investment bank and I started there about the same time that the EU Directive on Working Hours came in and we were all asked to sign a piece of paper saying that we agreed not to be bound by that directive and we did so gladly because we believed we were on the first path, the first rung of a ladder to a glorious career. And as you can see, it hasn't entirely worked out for all of us. And that's the message nationally, has been for decades, right? Part with shit now, and in the future, it'll pay out. We need austerity. You know, we need to pay for the COVID measures. We need to pay off some arbitrary amount of the national debt. And then when the economy is better, then, then you can have a pay rise. But for Amazon and the billionaires, the economy's already great. They're raking it in, right? And we're still living on peanuts. Right, and secondly, it's amazing because we're really encouraged to believe the reason nurses can't have a reasonable pay rise or schools can't provide laptops for students to work from home, the reason those things can't provide is because someone else would have to pay for it. And, you know, those greedy, greedy bankers. But it turns out the bankers are being treated like rubbish too. Because the truth is, it's not the bankers, it's the banks. It's not the millionaires, it's the billionaires. It's not even the Oxbridge-educated tryhards who sign up to investment banking graduate training programmes, as I once did, right? It's the system that has a problem. Runaway capitalism, corrupt media and the Tories. And that's awful, but it's also brilliant because it means that those being exploited vastly outnumber those benefiting from the system so it can be overthrown. Tomorrow, if we want to, all we need for that to happen is for people to understand what's happening and to understand that we're actually all on the same side. And our corrupt media is not about to tell the truth. So it's important that we support alternative media, starting with this one. Much appreciated. See you next week. Thank you.